Raya El Salahi taking you through Sunday evening. I'm Raya and I'm 25. On my weekly radio show, I explore race and identity in Britain. My own background's complicated. I'm mixed Arab Muslim and Jewish. Everybody wants to be the DJ. Now I'm going to Israel to try to understand the conflict that divides my own family. They're standing there with like with guns that are loaded whilst women and children walk past them. It's just total chaos here, and it gets worse. I want an explanation about what I saw at the checkpoint. The Israeli Defence Force agrees to give me an interview with a senior press officer. Two stones were thrown as far as I saw, and the response immediately was that a tear gas canister was fired into a crowd of people which included me, which included other press, which included old women, old men, people with children, babies, mm -hmm. and also soldiers who didn't have tear gas masks on. Why was there no warning? Our experience uh, shows us that when we use, when we don't use that immediately, then the stones uh, increase in their number and but the riot gets no out warning? of why was there no warning? Why was there no warning given before they were thrown? Was there a warning for the protest? I don't think so. So you want to be a journalist. It's one of the most sought after career paths and also one of the hardest to get into. So no surprises that when aspiring young reporters are given the chance to attend a Channel 4 training day here in York, they jumped at the chance. Channel 4 is travelling across the UK in search of the next generation of media professionals. Above all, we're passionate about three things. Number one, nurturing new talent. Number two, hearing diverse opinions. And number three, working with a variety of independent production companies. Today, we're in Glasgow. So let's get the latest on the situation on the roads and the rails with uh, Rare El Salahi from Five Live Travel, who's in our Salford studio. Afternoon to you. Good or afternoon. Give us the worst of it. How's it looking? Yeah, well, as you've been hearing, heavy rain and strong winds causing disruption across the rail network on roads around the country. Some of the main problems, a combination of Christmas traffic and poor weather conditions. Internships and work experience placements are a great way to develop your skills in a real working environment. But how much do you really know about your rights when it comes to getting your foot in the door? Well, let's find out. Do you have any idea what the law says about interns' rights? I've got no clue. I have no idea. Do you think they have the right to be paid? Um, no idea. I don't think interns legally have the right to be paid. At least one thing is clear. When it comes to the world of work, we can all do with being a little bit better informed. And with that in mind, I'm off to meet the Minister for Employment Relations. So there's still clearly a lot of confusion when it comes to internships, but here to bust the myth, I'm joined by MP Jo Swinson. Why are internships so important? Well, an internship can be a really good start in your career. No one's saying that getting your foot in the door is easy, but the young people here today have shown they're up for the challenge. And of course, anyone attending a Four Talent Day is automatically eligible to apply for work experience with Channel 4. So to find out how you can kickstart your career, visit fourtalent.channel4.com.